is the Banking Union? The Banking Union is a fundamental change to the way banks are supervised in Europe. It ensures that the banking sector is safe and reliable, and that, if problems occur, banks can be resolved without using taxpayers' money. That's what happened in the recent past, right? But how does it work? The Banking Union is made up of two parts, the Single Supervisory Mechanism and the Single Resolution Mechanism. They're mandatory for all Euro area countries and open to all other countries in the EU. These two mechanisms are based on the same rules which apply to all banks in the European Union, not only those in the Banking Union. What rules? The rules and principles adopted by the EU after the financial crisis to make the financial sector safer. For instance, it includes rules to make sure that all EU banks hold enough capital and act in a more responsible and sustainable way. Savers are also much better protected and deposits of up to €100,000 are guaranteed. These rules mean that there is the same level of protection across the EU and are designed to prevent panic withdrawals if a bank is in distress. And what about the two mechanisms that you mentioned? When the financial crisis turned into the Eurozone debt crisis, it became clear that banks in countries that share the Euro are more interdependent and that, in addition to the same rules, they also need the same supervision and resolution. So, the EU leaders and the Parliament decided that the European Central Bank should be in charge of banking supervision at the European level. This is the single supervisory mechanism. And if a bank failed and needed to be resolved, this would also be done at European level. A new agency, called the Single Resolution Board, will be in charge. This is the Single Resolution Mechanism. Would you like to learn how these two mechanisms work in practice? Sure. Then click here for the next video, The Banking Union in Practice.